Hi, I'm Daryl Crow. And I'm going to do something that's a little different than what I've done before. See, we've done a lot of tips and we've shown you a lot of our techniques. And I don't think we've ever done an entire painting from beginning to end for you. So I've decided to take one of my videos and cut it up. It's in acrylic. It's called Cape Lighthouse. And the reason why I chose that name is because I like going out to Cape Cod quite a bit. I do fishing out there, I do teaching, I do photography, and I just like being there. I take my family, I take my friends, I take strangers, anybody that'll go with me, we just head on out to the Cape. Heck, I've been known to even take Joe, my videographer, out there. Not too often, though. Uh, I like going Only out... Only when he needs to use me as bait. Yeah, when we're fishing for sharks. So, in any event... Uh, what I'm doing over the next few days, I said this is going to be an experiment, it takes us about two weeks to do it. We've cut this film up in a lot of little nuggets. And if you like that, then what we'll do is we'll keep doing it. But you have to let me know if you like it. Now today we'll start painting the skies. Now as you get ready, I have a public warning for you. I really do. I don't want you to be alarmed but it's necessary that I make this announcement you see when I did this film I was a little bit heavier than I am now thankfully however you need to be cautious you may not recognize that but that truly was me and if you're suffering from the same kind of problem I did you just give me an email and I'll tell you how I did it but in any event I wish you the best, and I know that even if you've never ever picked up a paintbrush before, you've never painted with acrylics before, or with anything, you can do this. We made these instructions so anybody, even an absolute doggone flat out beginner, can paint this. So let's get started and see just how easy it is to give someone else a gift that they'll treasure because you did it. I'm Daryl Crow. I'm going to take the one inch angular shader and dunk it into the uh, acrylic flow. That's our medium for acrylics. And the reason I'm doing that, I want to wet the canvas. Acrylic paint dries by evaporation. And one of the sources of the evaporation, rapid evaporation, is your canvas because the paints will come onto the canvas and the canvas will. Uh, want to get wet by taking the moisture from the acrylic paint. So if we wet this with the medium to begin with, then that's not going to happen. And our pets will, our paints will have a tendency to stay wet a little bit longer. So just make sure you wet it a bit. Right now we're only dealing with the sky, so that's all we're wetting. Okay, let's head on back and mix up our sky color. So. I'm going to take a bit of the gesso, which I'm using as an, uh, a medium. Now, this is an acrylic-based gesso, and it's white, and we're just going to add a little bit of the blue. That's a phthalo blue. And I want a little bit richer color right there at the top. Okay, we're going to divide our sky into three shades and now let's just take see I'm just taking the tip of the brush and going right into the brown okay and uh, that's just to gray it down a bit over at the cape you'll find that the blues are not so brilliant but they have a little uh, uh, brown tint to it or a gray tint and uh, there you go that's looking nice Let's take just a touch of purple. Put that right in there. How about two touches? There we. Oh, I was just going with the blue again. There we go. See that? There we go. All right. I like that color. Try putting a little purple, just a dot, right in your uh, painting and see how it turns out. Okay. Let's head on up to the canvas now. And I'm going to be using 
the X stroke right in there, just like that. See that? And I just want to go right across the top. All right. And then stretch that painting or that paint out. See? Stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. Yeah, there we go. Now, let's take a little bit of the gesso and we'll now start to mix that into the center. And see how that's giving you a slightly different shade as you come down? Now that's important because to show depth in your sky, you need to have two or three different colors. And the reason is the color right ahead of you or over your head will be a lot darker than say at the horizon. And the reason for that is quite simple. Is as you look into the distance, you're going to be looking through more and more water molecules. So you want to be able to see that differentiation. Okay, I think we could use it just a slight bit lighter. So we'll just go ahead, get a little more of the gesso right in there. Mix it in. And there we go. And just work it up and then it'll have a gradual from dark to light. It'd be very gradual. 